July 15, calendar 1204. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Trials of Cold Steel. This is episode 31. Valflame Palace Heimdaller. Well, we're back, and this is the beginning of chapter 4. I don't know. We Oh, this is our. I think this is our first look at Heimdaller. Look at all. Oh, wow. This really is big. Oh, look at that castle in the background, though. I'm assuming that this is the uh, the guy that made the, um, the school, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Imperial Palace, Valflame Palace. That's a big, big, big castle. Yo, that castle's huge. I would love to live in that. Imperial Government Chancellor's Office. Nice. Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. Oh, nice. That's always good. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. Yeah, However, this is they Claire. did this demand that her. we hand over the mercenaries responsible for the attack as part of their terms. This might be the, the big strong, the, the big uh, helmeted person. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. Oh, here he is. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side. Oh, uh, here he is. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conflicts on the horizon. This is, uh, Ilya yes, Osborne, I assume. Though it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on. If this is what they're capable of. Mm, yeah, Our they... next concern is the upcoming summer festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Iron Bloods? The summer festival? What's this? Is that like, um... I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and oh, Milliam Lecter's to the west. Name. But I'm, I'm gonna keep calling him Lecher. Because I feel like Lecter is just kind of too stiff. Lecture to the east and that leaves me here to take care of the capital. Are there only three Iron Bloods? It, maybe Claire's the older sister of William. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Maybe they're all siblings. Very well cool. then. I'll leave the preparation. Maybe there's like more than one of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. <laughs> Don't be afraid of working her hard, she says. Mmm. Uh, I could run sorry. these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I'm all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the summer festival in your capable hands. Maybe Perhaps she's part of the Iron Bloods. Even too. consider using them as a test. Them? Talking about us? I. It's probably talking about us. Not gonna lie. Knock, knock, knock. Letcher. Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. Oh. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Oh, this is, this ah, is Bacchus' is that. As you wish, sir. Coming in. This is Bacchus' is that. Nice. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. So, I don't really understand the whole conflict going on. I know that it's basically nobles against the reformist faction. The noble faction against the reformist faction. I am I think that the chancellor leads the reformist faction. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm wow. in your debt for helping out with the security two arrangements months. at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Like, anyway, that's the bigger story going on. Excuse me. The reformist faction against the noble. Always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Ah, uh, so she is part of the Iron Bloods. All right. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. That would be Letcher. But she and the rest of the Iron Bloods continue to do some fine work, especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility 
and the four great houses in particular. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, so Agreed. he's against nobles. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree. I wonder what it, he would think... Carl Regnitz. I wonder what he would think if, um... If he saw that Machius and Eustace were buddy buddy. The feelings mutual. Gilead Osborne. Gilead Osborne. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Everybody, everybody saw it. Everybody knew it. Also, it said that it was the chance. That's Osborne. exactly why I intend to go with him. Who? What? What's going Next on? This month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. What? So the Who's discussions talking? won't be limited to economic matters. Who's talking? Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come. I hope I know who's talking. I hope that this guy is... So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. Oh, President oh, Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvary. Let's go! Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Remaferia as its Let's head of go! state. Let's go! Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. Hey, Crown Prince is cloudy. And That's representing cool. Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. Uh, Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. Hmm. All of them are either heads of That's state new. or they're acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative uh, of the Imperial that's, government. That's not good. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well. Even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. Da, da. It's our boy. It's our boy Olivia. The Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. Or, or I should say Olivert. You shouldn't be so harsh My on bad. yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. The simple politics. Hmm? I mean, it's your it's your job is like. Person. Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. Do you I you guys are living I had it up. Intelligence and quick wittedness you possess. <laughs> you guys are. And I wonder, <laughs> am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? No. <laughs> Wait, you know, the one Her in... Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. Wait, she did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms Wait, with her own inexperience. Wait, so why isn't... Because he looks younger, the guy, on the, the guy on the left looks younger than Olivier, who's the guy on the right. So why is he the one that's replacing I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver... Yeah, Oliver. Thank you. This is his name. Your support means a lot to go. me. Not Olivier. Who's that Olivier? Said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. I mean... <laughs> well, I think it'd be yeah. less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. <laughs> Another Everybody thing. who's played the game knows exactly what I sometimes find myself about. admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed uh -oh. nature as well. Oh? Uh-oh. He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. I thought, I, I think that we're... Ever since then, we against, I've heard the number of car know. accidents has really, fallen dramatically. I don't really I can know see why Father trusts him so much. The background stuff. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policy making. The campaign he launched mm. with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the but. other... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Is it Milliam? No. It's this girl. Oh! It's the, um... Who is it? It's the, the girl who was talking to Reen's sister. Alfin? Oh. Have your lessons already finished for the day? We got Alfin. Indeed. Olivier they and the, the middle child. gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival. Who's going to be the king? I think that the middle child. I don't know why the middle child. But come child. on, Cedric. You need to stop Cedric. taking everything so seriously. Oh, there was a guy named uh, Cedric in uh, one of the Pokemon shows. We're I 15. forget which one, but there is It's one. far too early for us to be worrying oh, about politics. Oh, they're twins, politics. okay. I would have assumed that the... The, the, the girl is the youngest, but... Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. <sighs> what you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. <laughs> Blushing Jeez. head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. 
I mean, you would blush if your guy asked you. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Ah, uh, well. Have you decided on your dance partner for the oh. upcoming garden party? Wait, why would they decide right now? I mean, I, I, I yeah. guess it's kind of like homecoming, but like, You've always wouldn't it happen like dancing right at then and there? Functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Oh, well, well, I do have someone in mind this time. Oh no, I it's definitely Reen. Really? Oh, oh my. It sounds like you are most definitely smoke. green. It's most definitely green. Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great no. houses? No. <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. So Reen, it's it's Reen, it's Reen, half noble. Oh, that reminds me, Prince Oliver. I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. So why is he? Why is she referring to him as Prince Oliver? Why not just Oliver? That doesn't make any sense. Also, Saint Estrella Girls School. That's where my sister goes. That's where Reen's sister goes. I should say, not my sister. Reen's sister always. Reels, reading sister. Heimdall Sank District Saint Estrella's Girls School. And that's gotta be Reen's sister right there, right? That has to be. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. Okay, yeah, it is. <gasps> I'm almost is. afraid to think how her highness would have reacted if she found this. <laughs> okay. Dear Miss Schwarzer. So... <laughs> Really, Reen? Still, Miss Schwarzer? I'm your own sister. Ah! Uh, <laughs> there's a little suggestive theming going on under there. Also, there's uh, what? some lagging, but eh, it's whatever. <laughs> Apologies. Reen! What? what? <sighs> What's going on? Oh! That was not. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like this scene. Why are her hands so big? Why are her hands so ginormously large? Like, I just don't understand. Why are they so ginormous? Is that the end of the pre-chapter cutscene? Yep, it is. Hey, at least we got to beat the uh, Imperial family. That's cool. I have a feeling that we're gonna, you know, enjoy them. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna interact with them sometime in the near future. Maybe this chapter, who knows? It's Mr. Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short sleeved shirts. Summer had come to Trista. Wow. The uniform changed. Whoa. We lost our red. <laughs> With months of experience under our belts, we finally we lost found our ourselves red adjusting uniform. to the rigors of our coursework. I like how Reen is just wearing gloves. Same with Elisa for some reason. Don't know why, but yep, that's just what's going on. And it was during those also, early days of summer Also, look at with his pads. became oh, well yeah, truly withering. We saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. Also, it's been a while since we've seen like a lot of the other characters. All right, that should be enough of a warm up. Eh? Oh, we're swimming now. Oh. Oh. Mmm. I'm not saying nothing. Yo, wait, what is that scar on Reen's chest? What? To remind you that swimming what was that? Classes here Yo, did you guys see that? Skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In Yo, fact, Reen has CPR like a, a giganto scar. Reen, Elisa, oh. would you care to give us a Yo. demonstration? Yo, teacher with, the, teacher with the third wheel and teacher with the wingman. <gasps> in front of everyone? Come 
on, guys. Just kidding around. Point oh. is, it's still important Dang it. that you learn how I to do it, and to do that it. you won't hesitate to use <sighs> it if the need That's arises. Unfortunate. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex oh. or the opposite. Yo, Elliot, Elliot's being out here like, I can't wait to kiss Machias. <laughs> uh. Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. She's <laughs> Emma's gonna be whispering some Latin into the person's mouth as she kisses After them. After we covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. Oh yeah, because she's part of the swim team, right? Yeah. Oh. Guys. Look away. You're up, Gaius. Ready, and... Go! You're next, Emma. You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at Gaius go! Dude, yeah. he is speedy I boy. I used to swim in that lake in the highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Yeah, with those gigantic airbags on her chest weighing her down. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. Oh. Uh, what do you... You don't need to get it. No, <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? Uh-oh, she got him. staring. Em. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. I oh. mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're yeah, it, okay, we're gonna talk about that Giganto star on his on his chest. Not star, scar. <laughs> you think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. As He's... for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. Oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and <laughs> 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 why why are y'all so mean to Elliot? What what did he ever do to you? Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Reen? Hmm? Oh, we we talked. Oh, you're right. Y'all so didn't even notice it up until now. <laughs> no, that's not faint at all. That it's some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. Don't know how I got it though. No, yes you do. It's a scar. Wow. And you got it because some bad guy attacked you. Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. Yeah, scar. It Boom. makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. Yo, that's like right, right where his heart would be. Do you think that he doesn't have a heart? Seriously? <laughs> That'd it be really pretty funny. It wouldn't suit you. Trust me. All these two are gonna. I can't believe we finish with the exact same time. <laughs> nice. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <sighs> what are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was the myself. Damn it! Was competing against by myself. Look and at even me, then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> <laughs> these two. <sighs> I thought they got. I thought they that made was up. That refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. I okay. want to swim now. Laura, are you ready? I'll but it's the middle back. of winter, so I can't really do that unless I want to get like hypothermia. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. Ready and go! Wow. Whoa! This is she's the second. Fast. This is the second time How that we've seen doing? her. Uh, Impressive swim the first time was like back in episode like Oof. five or something well done let's see 20.02 seconds not bad at all did all win? right i think it's time for me to dive into the mix oh she's gonna drown everyone pick a partner it's time for a little head-to-head -head competition well, i have a I feeling you know what it is personally i would pick laura but story-wise i'm gonna pick elisa uh oh, races. Because, um. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True. Our times were pretty close. Dang. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? No, I want to partner up with Laura. Not today, I'm afraid. I'll partner up with Laura. 
Oh. I wish to challenge V this time. Oh. Oh, the rivalry. Me? Am I gonna be against Elliot? All right, I guess I'll be Elliot. Laura? Wait, we have an odd. Oh wait, never mind. We don't. Your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'll be with Elliot. Elisa will be with Emma. Maki is with Gaius. All right. Uh, wait, Maki is with um, Usus. Okay, so Sarah's gonna go with Gaius. I guess then. that leaves me with. Oh. Green. Never mind. It's I'll be with. Wait. Sarah. <sighs> See, personally, my favorite girl it would be Laura. Um, but in terms of the story, I think that Elisa, you know, has to kind of be with Rain. So if I was given the option, I think they'd use this one, right? <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know, this seems like it would be pretty effective as part of a diet plan. <laughs> she just go. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> Sarah's Please gonna cramp up. I'm calling it. <laughs> Same to you. She's gonna cramp up, and she's gonna ready. Be ah. Go. Go. Oh, is this a button mash? Okay. Press Y when the two circles overlap. Doing so will increase your speed. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm do not doing so good. I didn't realize what I was doing. I got second. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, but... I didn't realize what I was doing, so I was like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> retry. No, no, I'm going to retry this, and I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Go. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I wish it was like... Come on. I need a great... Oh, did I get second again? Dang it! Dang it! I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this one day. I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this. Retry. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, let's go! We did it! Let's go! I'm gonna take that dub real quick. I took that dub. Let's go. Yeah, if he increased by three. Let's go! I thought that Sarah was just <laughs> gonna done, <Rain>. die. <laughs> I thought she was gonna have to drown and we'd be like, oh, Sarah, no! And I would have been like, nah, I'm not going to save her. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, it's down to these two. Oh, okay. Are you both ready? Not quite. Fee, how about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? L Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. Oh. I could tell just by watching you. Hey, yeah, can these your okay. earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. So like Machias and Usus, they're still kind of few, but they're better. Well, it's can not we just like light to your opponent to hold back? <sighs> this isn't mm. like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. No, she doesn't realize it. She's <sighs> like 12, right? Isn't she? Mm. I think Good. she's 14 actually, but then it's let us working. begin. Let us begin! <laughs> nah, I won't, nah, I won't make fun of her. Here we go. We got the swimming episode today, I guess. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. Nah. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah. This'll be one to watch. Okay, why? Ready, oh. go! 
Ready, go! Am I gonna do this? Am I going? No, I'm not. My bet's on Laura. What? I incredible. Hey, yo, but the cameraman's going the fastest, though. Look at him. Oh, uh, they tied. Whoa. Whoa. Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Yeah, let's go play some. On uh, let's go, Laura. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. No. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> oh. No reason, really? Hmm. Too much effort, I guess. Oh, I see what she means. Laura won in that It seems we truly Let's cannot go. find Best the middle girl ground. One. Best girl won. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's what we like to see. And we all will. Well, the temperatures are going up, up. And I don't know, but you know, I'm wilting like a flower. I don't. Woo! Oh, we got a we got a free day tomorrow, which is fun. Practical exam is up next Wednesday. All right. So that probably means. All right. This week, <laughs> we're already moving into the next uh, field day. The field trip summer festival is a seasonal holiday are we gonna have to go to heimdaller for it then probably we'll probably go to heimdaller or uh yeah no yeah we're, we're, why, uh, where else would we go oh sarah's gonna do the other team dirty emperor dreichel blah 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 Hmm. So, so the so the festival got held back a month for some reason, and then it wasn't. Now it is. All right. Oh boy, the maid. I, I, again, I think that she's a bad guy. Bad guy. I'll look at the guy. All right, I'm gonna yoinka. Woo! Oh, this is Fee's chapter, I guess. Emma. I like how all three of them just lock their heads onto her, and they just oh, as they like shifted their gaze. Hmm. Uh, of course, Reen's the guy that has to sort things out. Hmm. Oh, this is Elliot's chapter two. <laughs> Got a club meeting. Oh boy. Elliot's depressed, isn't he? Did Elliot get depressed because he lost? Also, I gotta say, this song. This song slaps hard. Do -do -do -do. Do -do. Uh, well, for one, hmm, I don't really think that there's any difference, but I definitely want to get, like, just a few people with, uh, the old uniform. Oh, I can't equip now. Can't equip anybody else's. Nah, nah, let's, 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 let's appreciate our new uniform. Also, what level is everybody else? 31, alright. 
so we're not that under level. We're a bit under level, but we're not that under level. Hey, what's up, Colette? Alright. Uh, I keep thinking that it's like different than it is. Um, the sister, uh, the, oh, it's Rosine. Nice. Yum, ba dum, bum, 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 ba da da dum, 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 ba da 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 dum, ba da da Oh! Yo, what happened? Something happened! Yo, wait, did something happen between her and Alan? Yo, I... Did I miss it? Did I miss what she and Alan did? There's no way! Nah, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Character. Uh... There's like... Which one? No. Bridget. Oh, no, no! This one is that she likes... Uh, I don't. I, mm, I want to. I want to finish that. That time, please. Oh, she hasn't switched her uniform yet. She's the only one that hasn't done so. Oh, <laughs> that's clearly Vivian right there, or Vivi. Come on, where's Alan? I need the I need to ask him questions. Where is Alan? I don't want to talk to the principal right now. Oh. Uh-oh. What? What's going on? Uh Please don't go up and ask Elliot about it. Let him have his own business, all right? Oh, Reen! All right. Hi, Reen. Elliot's acting weird. <laughs> it's whatever. No, I don't think I'm that. This isn't the way. That wasn't the direction of it. Eh. All right, whatever. Well, it's Sharon. That's fine. Alright. I'm going to go up to the roof. See if there's Alan up there because I need to speak with Alan. I need to be the good wingman that I am and speak with Alan. Oh, there's this guy though. Hey, what's up this guy? Vincent. Dude, Sarifa, what an MVP. Putting up with that guy. For the amount of time that he does. Oh, what's up, Fee? Oh, this is a cutscene as well. Fee, what are you doing here? <laughs> Earth of Fee, this is your commander speaking. <laughs> Leave me alone for now. Oh, she's depressed. Alright, why is everybody depressed? It's summer. Come on, guys. Have a little bit more common sense. You don't get depressed in the summer, you get depressed in the winter. Get your timing right. Are you Alan? You are not Alan. You're a monk. I don't care if you're not Alan. No, stop. Where is Alan? Where's Alan? Uh, my, my guess would be the auditorium, but I might be completely off the ball on this one. But let's check. Or the gymnasium, not the auditorium. This guy, Alan, yes. No! I need, I need to, I need to know. What happened? Did something happen? Did I miss something with the story? Better not have. Uh, let's talk to Laura. Um, hmm, that's okay. 
Everybody's been off for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go through the boys' locker room. Boys' locker room. Um. Oh, what a guy, Rex. Uh, heck yeah, dude. I will. Oh, it's. Who? Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, so it actually is Vivian. Or Vivian. Oh wait, that's right, didn't... Oh. These flowers are growing little by little. That's always good. That's always the goal, isn't, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna look up after this episode ends. Like, if I missed something in the Allen and Bridge story. Because if I did, I'd want to know what it is. Um. We're going to stay outside. We're going to talk to a few more people to finish out this episode. Oh, Hugo's going back to the festival. I'm actually going to look it up right now. Um. Rigid. Uh, trails. Cold steel. Um. Hmm. Oh. Um... No, 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 I don't want to know about Trails of Cold Steel 2. Dang it. So, I can't- I can't find and see, like, NPC dialogue. Um... We're gonna go back to the dormitory. Yes, return to the dormitory. Here we go! Back to the dormitory. I guess there are cicadas around Trista, too. When I hear them, I always feel like that's when summer's really arrived. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer? Who is it? Teacher? Ah. Uh. Ah, this is the guy that, uh, did Elliot. Night art. Yes. Are you heading out too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Hmm. Your division? Oh, yeah. You were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct. But because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. Is he only talking to me, or is he talking to everybody? Because I feel like guy is the most ignored. The same. Reading the army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican army was a real possibility. Also, I feel like I've heard this guy's While the intelligence before. division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Nice. Um, thanks. Look at you Reed. haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The intelligence division is looking into his identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Probably because he's not from the Personally, Imperial Personally, I Army. wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. Mm, okay. I see. Schwarzer? I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there, but I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? Just, just a little bit. Just a well, tad. I... Ba -ba Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group 
You As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. What? You've already been over this in class, I believe? Yes, very instructor. Confused. I just followed the instructions given to me, all right? I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash, but they made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. Oh, it's because we acted at all. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on the matter. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Well, thanks, I guess. Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Mm. Yes, Instructor. So he's teaching me about military stuff. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class's instructor. Oh, Though boy. considering her background... Her? You're talking about... Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition guy, and diligence of a soldier. I feel like this guy doesn't have very much experience with uh, voice acting. I understand she didn't come from an he found, army He sounds so robotic. With her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became or maybe Instructor she, here? Maybe he sounds too natural so that he doesn't sound like a voice actor. He sounds like an actual person. I can't tell. He's either too good or too bad. Can't really, oh? can't really tell. Is she keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Mm. So is he going to tell us? Before tell she us? came to Thor's, Sarah was... Uh, here she comes. Uh, uh. It's not very becoming of a gentleman to go around broadcasting a lady's secrets, you know. She was a Jaeger. <laughs> it, Instructor Sarah. Instructor Valestine. Yeah, you know, why does she look like she was just asleep? I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. God. You always play by the rules, and mm. you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. I instructor? <laughs> You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. I like how he calls them cadets well, and not students. of course I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the provincial army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset <laughs> down pat. <laughs> I like her. I like her mocking voice. She got a pretty good mocking voice as a professional mocker. It looks like these two aren't Can't getting agree. along any better. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Yeah. I mean. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Who is talking now? Are we just going to get the entire teacher staff uh -oh. out here? Uh, Instructor Thomas? Oh, and young Reen is with you too. Simply marvelous. What is going on? <laughs> Looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Uh, uh, uh come along, Reen. We, we, oh, but... What? what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy? I heard the two of you really know how. I'm afraid I really. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. Now, Does nobody now, like Thomas? No need to be shy. Aw, that's unfortunate. But we're all friends here. Poor Thomas. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reen? We can't float a beer your way quite yet, but I'd be happy to treat you to something apple else. Apple juice. I want some apple juice. No, it's you. Teachers are always. Oh boy. So if I'll be sure to let you No, Reen! What kind Run. of heartless monster are you? <laughs> Get back here, Reen Schwarzer! <laughs> well, shall we be off? I have a feeling that nobody I, likes Thomas. I couldn't possibly. I need to Poor depart Thomas. early tomorrow morning, so I really Poor Thomas, dude. Poor Thomas. And there's chapter four, A Midsummer's Revel Revels. Uh, thank you all very much for watching.
If you guys have enjoyed, hit that like button down below. You know, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, thank you to my 43 loyal subscribers. And stay awesome.